1998, I had a complete, absolute breakdown, and I spent four days in bed. I was asleep and semi-unconscious. When I eventually did get out of bed, had some water, went back, looked at the bedroom and couldn't believe what I could see. This absolute mess and decay of my life. And then I saw the bed out of that context of this tiny, tiny bedroom and I saw it in just like a big white space. I realised that I had to move the bed and everything into a gallery space. I was nominated for the Turner Prize in 1999 and in all honesty I never believed all the fuss and everything that would be caused about it. I had no idea. I think in the 1990s British art was making such a huge impression on people and all the tabloids were actually genuinely interested in it regardless of how they set it up and so that made the public interested in it and I think the bed captured people's imagination. It was a good thing for the zeitgeist of the time. For me it was important to bring it back to Tate Britain, but I'd like it to be shown in a different context at Tate Britain, so I wanted it to be shown historically. I chose Francis Bacon because his life was kind of pretty chaotic and he just did whatever he wanted to do, drank whoever, whatever he wanted to drink, slept with whoever he wanted to sleep with, he was, he was a maverick within society. The paintings that I chose like these big undulating rolls of flesh and these things turning and these folds and everything. And it's much the same as the bed. The bed is folding, the bed is turning, the bed is moving. Francis Bacon's paintings aren't static. They've got tr total movement. So has the bed. The reason why the drawings are here is because I wanted something which I'm making right now to accompany the bed and the drawings are a donation to Tate because I wanted people to be able to understand how the Tate still relates to what I'm doing now. There's this chaos, there's this body, there's this movement. The person in those drawings could have just walked out of that bed and it also relates to the bacon as well. When I'm installing the bed, it's kind of really sad and very depressing because I'm actually going into a time capsule of my past. All of the things that are around the bed no longer relate to my life at all. But I've got to say, I'd be really stupid to be unhappy about this moment. Bringing it back to the Tate, Tate Britain, and showing it with the paintings of my choice, I, I couldn't be happier about that. It's just brilliant.